This is Steve Bells, pastor of Capital Baptist Church in Annandale, Virginia. And uh, today we're talking about get in the game, get in the game. And today we're going to talk about an opportunity to get in the game uh, when it comes to uh, serving and, and also receiving uh, help. And I have a guest here today, uh, Jesse and Christine. And, uh, and so they have gotten in the game. In fact, they did... Uh, uh, their purple folders here, okay, and uh, and one of the things that we discovered is part of that what we call it, your shape, uh, sp that spiritual gifts, heart, abilities, personality, and E is experience, and with their experience, uh, God is going to use them and is using them uh, to launch a whole new uh, ministry opportunity here at Capital, and we must remember Second Corinthians one three four through four says. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and listen to this, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. See, part of our shape is our experiences and how we go to God when we're hurting and need help and he comforts us and, and God equips us to be able to help people going through the same type of trouble. And that's really the, the testimony uh, here today. We praise God uh, for that. So this is part of our uh, care ministry here at Capital Counseling Services. And we're going to be offering uh, support in the area of cancer uh, support. And so first of all, Jesse and Christine, just tell us your, your testimony concerning cancer. Well, um, it's been almost six years that the Lord has kept me. Um, almost six years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer, uh, just out of the blue. I went to the doctor for a physical and thinking that uh, everything was going to be fine, but I mentioned about some little nagging issue and uh, they did a test and came back and said that uh, you have stage four cancer. Um, it was a very fearful thing. Uh, I cried, um, you know, have to go home and tell my wife, uh, was another, uh, hard thing to do. But, um, I remember that I, I leaned on the Lord. Uh, I heard a message that said, I have two choices. I can do nothing or I can find out what the Lord has for me to do. So I took the ladder and continued to study and uh, did a lot of crying in prayer, cried in fear, uh, but the Lord continued to, to bring me forward, um, learned so many things. Uh, it's been a struggle, still in treatment today, uh, but I know that I'm in the hands of the Lord and whatever comes my way, I know that he is already ahead of me. So I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for the comfort that the Lord has given me through this. Uh, and I want to help help other people. I want to bring the, those that are struggling. Um, this is a hard thing. Yes. But the Lord has promised. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So that's very, very comforting. Um, along with my wife, she's always been by my side and She's always been, uh, she's been my watch over. How long have you been married? 25 years. 25, congratulations. That's awesome. That's a major milestone. So Christine, you have a story as well, right? Yeah, um, 12 years ago I was diagnosed with um, stage one cancer. And um, it was very devastating that, we, that meant for me that I could no longer do some of the hobbies that I enjoyed doing. I sang in a show choir, did a lot of quilting, did a sang in church choirs and all, and all of that kind of came to a halt for a while. Um, but through it all, I had to keep reminding myself, I have cancer, but cancer doesn't have me. Mm. So <laughs> what, kind of got me through a lot of this was um, one, two songs that I enjoy. Um, Take Me to the King, because he could answer all of my questions. 
questions, King Jesus. Amen. So, in all of my, and heal. And I can walk through cancer and not stay in cancer. Amen. So, I just want to help other people along the way to go through the cancer and not stay in because awesome. cancer doesn't have you. That's good. I love that. Okay. So, so ultimately what we're going to talk about today is uh, we're uh, wanting to serve. They're wanting to serve. And so there's two different uh, levels. One is individually uh, doing what uh, they can to support uh, you uh, individually or, or your family. Uh, but also we're looking at the possibility of some type of support group. And if there's an interest there, uh, this is something we'd like to like to get started. So obviously, when people hear the the C word, the cancer word, I mean that's always I can't imagine. I've never had that, so I can't say I know what it's like, but I, I can imagine what it must be uh, terrifying to hear that. Uh, so so you know people will say, well you know why me, right? You know so so did you ever ask why me? What do you think of that question today? Well, of course, you know uh, I thought you know I was going to church and worshiping the Lord and this comes up on you and you're like, Lord, well, why me? Uh, but he says that he knows all things and God is not one to destroy you. He is not in the business of destroying you. So he wants to grow you. He wants to enhance you. He wants to bring you to a better place, to another place where you can help someone else, as it says in Corinthians. Uh, how? Can, what better place to go is to someone who's been through what you're going through. Yes. And that is, that is always uh, one of the things that uh, have strengthened me along with music. I, I, I love to hear music that they're uplifting to the name of the Lord. Amen. And Jesse sends me songs periodically that bless me as well. Music's a a powerful tool. So just thinking about that, like, like how has like the Bible been like a help to you guys? Psalms 91 for me, for sure. Um, just the part where um, I will cover you with feathers. Yes. And that was so comforting to me. So I knew that I was in good hands on this side or the other side. So I was prepared either way. Amen. So. Amen. Psalm 91. Read it. Pray over it. It's a powerful, comforting uh, passage full of, full of hope. How about you, Jesse? The Bible? I think Psalms 119, which I think is the longest psalm. Long, it's actually the longest <coughs> chapter of the Bible. The longest chapter. Yeah. Uh, in one of the verses, it, I believe it talks about Put your trust in no man. Mm -hmm. You know, and many times in going through cancer, the doctor can tell you what he thinks is going to be the outcome. But if you read the Psalms, God will tell you what the outcome is going to be. And he is the great physician. Mm -hmm. So you have to trust in the Lord. If you listen to what the doctor says, you do what they tell you to do. Mm -hmm. But you put your trust first and foremost in the Lord because he is your creator, your provider. He is your savior. Mm -hmm. He can yeah. carry you further than you think you could ever go. At one point, I didn't think that I would even be here today. Mm -hmm. So this is a blessing. Amen. Six years. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's praise God. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. So, so, so what are some ways you guys want to serve people and help people specifically? We would like to, to pray with people. Sometimes uh, people need uplifting, they need encouragement. Um, and sometimes when you're going through this, you feel like you're alone. But you know, we would like to hold their hand along the way and let them know that Jesus is always there. Mm -hmm. He says, I'll never leave you or forsake you. And that is a promise that will last through eternity. Mm -hmm. What's your heart to help, Christine? My heart to help is um, resources. I um, aware I am aware of all the resources that are out there for people who are experiencing cancer and going through cancer. Um, the resources are great out there, 
So if you guys want to know anything about the resources, please, you know, contact us or talk to us. And Pastor Steve, just one other thing I wanted to interject here is that once you're given a cancer diagnosis, you're already a survivor because you're going to be armed with the tools to go forward and fight this. You're, you're not alone in this battle. The Lord is on your side. That's good. Amen. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's got, again, it's over, it's got, it's got to be so overwhelming and they can give you some clarity and some help. And, and, uh, and uh, I often think about this illustration of, you know, we, yes, we have God, but God, you know, comes to us and people with skin on. He's like, we're like God, God with skin on, so to speak. We're his representatives. We're, we're his, his body. And, and he wants to use us in, in this way. So also we're, you know, wanting to possibly start a, a support group. So what, what, just give us a little idea what that might look like, just a little bit. It might be a group uh, that we get together, uh, people that are going through cancer, uh, even family members that are caregivers for those that are going through can cancer, they need support also. We're in a unique situation because we've, also, we've both had cancers and we've both been caregivers, so we know what it looks like from each side. Yes. And the other thing is that year to date, I have talked to almost a hundred people and kind of walked through them, walked them through the cancer process and um, what to expect, what what happens with radiation, what what happens with surgery, what do I do, what are my next next steps. So. Um, I enjoy helping people and sometimes you you may get calls from people who are just at their wit's end mm. and you just tell them to breathe Yes. and I tell them to read Psalms 91. Mm -hmm. It helps. Amen. It does. Yep. Yep. I had somebody say to me this week that they're, they're suffering so deep that it actually hurts to breathe. Yeah. That's, that's so true. That's powerful. Well, listen. Okay, we're here to serve. They're here to serve. And again, Capital Counseling Services Care Ministry wants to wants to be a help to you. So here's the deal. Just email me. We care at capitalbaptist.org. We care at capitalbaptist.org. And uh, and we'll get you connected. Again, there's going to be individual support. And then hopefully there also will be a, a, a group support as well. So again, email me at we care at capitalbaptist.org. Please pray. Uh, this is an important ministry and can be a great help. So please pray that God would use it uh, in a mighty, mighty way.